I understand that you can't confirm the authenticity of this alleged drone attack, but regardless of that, how concerned are you, as Ukrainian officials have suggested, that Russia could use this to launch some new kind of provocation? So, look, I, I want to be super mindful here. Again, we've heard the reports. Uh, not something we want to uh, — uh, that we are a able to confirm. Uh, want to be incredibly mindful here. Uh, it is really too early to tell, as you a ask me about uh, the, uh, a false flag, essentially. Uh, but obviously, Russia has a history of doing things like this. But again, I don't want to speculate. I don't want to get into hypotheticals from here. Uh, but we are just unable to confirm at this time. And on the steps that you are taking to, to prepare for the end of Title 42, this agreement was announced you know, overnight between the U.S. and Mexico. Can you just help us understand how many migrants will Mexico continue to accept under this new agreement, and for how long? You know, they had agreed to, to I believe, a 30,000 a month. So just a just a, a couple of things, so folks are aware. Um, uh, so. While Republicans continue to push uh, to lay off 2,000 border uh, patrol agents, uh, we are uh, firing on all cylinders to prepare for the return to Title VIII uh, on May 11th. And so last week, the Biden-Harris administration announced those sweeping measures that I mentioned uh, moments ago from the state and DHS uh, to expand legal pathways, launch regional process centers, surge uh, asylum officers and judges, and more. And yesterday, as you are uh, uh, alluding to here, uh, Mary, we announced additional joint actions with Mexico, uh, including participation in regional processing centers and continuation of uh, effective border enforcement measures under Title VIII. And so we're using all the tools available to us. I don't have a number to share uh, at this time, but this is something that, again, we're taking very seriously as we head towards uh, the lifting of Title VIII on May 11th. We are doing everything that we can to put programs, to put processes in, t in, in place uh, to deal with uh, what will occur at the border. Again, we need Congress to act. As part of this agreement, though, Mexico uh, has agreed to continue accepting migrants from these uh, four countries that have been turned away at the U.S. border. As part of this agreement, is the U.S. providing any funding to Mexico? So not going to get into — these are diplomatic conversations that are happening, diplomatic uh, uh, diplomatic discussions, certainly not going to get into that from here. But I can say this, our two countries are committed to working together uh, and uh, to address our regional migration challenge. And we've both taken action to address this humanitarian uh, situation. Uh, Mexico, as you all know, is a sovereign country that makes its own decision, and we welcome their partnership in this, as we have been partners uh, with, uh, 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 with others uh, in in, in the region. Uh, again, just not going to get into uh, diplomatic conversations from here. 